something I find uh, fantastic about Verita Life is that you uh, combine different uh, you know, treatments depending mm -hmm. on what the patient needs. With uh, IPT, how does that work? IPT it stands for insul insulin potentiation therapy. This is more, let's say, an integrative therapy by combining conventional and alternative together. The conventional part of it is using the chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. The alternative part is to make it suitable for the patient without giving them any severe side effects as what chemotherapy does. So it's a little bit of both, a little exactly. bit of conventional and a little bit of alternative yep. put together. Exactly. Yeah. So the idea behind this treatment, it came a long time ago that when it was discovered that sugar is the main source of energy for cancer. Mm. So the idea came, what if we lower the sugar levels in the blood? What would happen to the cancer? Here it is, the insulin is playing two rules. One, or let me say first, we are combining chemotherapy with insulin. The role of insulin at this part is going into two parts. One, it's that it's lowering the sugar levels and on the, in the patient's body and putting the cancer stress, uh, oh, putting the cancer under metabolic stress, mm -hmm. right? The cancer becomes more uh, uh, weak, it's starving, it cannot resist the chemotherapy or decrease the resistance of the cancer to the work the chemotherapy. The second part is that cancer cells, they have insulin receptors on the surface more than any other healthy cells or other cells, which attract sugar to it. So when we inject the insulin, insulin is binding with these uh, receptors and as if it's marking or targeting the cancer cells for the chemotherapy. So at this time we use a low dose of the chemotherapy which varies between 10 to 20, 25% of the conventional dose. At this time here we have a greater effect of the actual dose that has been given with very uh, low side effects. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, so first what happens is the insulin goes in exactly, and then the cancer cell is hungry. Mm -hmm. And then while it's hungry, the glucose and the low-dose chemotherapy goes in. And because the cancer cell is so hungry, it sees the glucose available, yes. mixed in with a bit of low-dose chemotherapy, and it will grab it. Exactly. And that means that it's basically medicated itself with the mm -hmm. chemotherapy. Exactly. Um, and I suppose that would then be a way for the chemotherapy to target the cancer cell rather than other cells of the body. Definitely. And now the thing is also with not every time we use the glucose because there are certain chemo drugs which has glucose already inside it. Oh, okay. So that's what sometimes makes the cancer attract the uh, chemotherapy okay. in a conventional way. So this is always, it is making the cancer, as you said, hungry, starving, yes. and then giving it this low dose, which makes it become very weak and the results could be greater than the dose that is given to the to the patient from the chemotherapy. Okay. The insulin is always calculated according to the patient's body weight and to their blood results. So we first, if we're going to talk about the procedure, first is the patient's blood sugar is tested mm -hmm. before we give the insulin dose, and then we give it the insulin works for about 30 minutes at this stage. So within these 30 minutes, we are monitoring the sugar level until we get to that level where we call it the metabolic stress. And then we would give the patient the chemotherapy. In so between what you're calling metabolic stress, we might see it as a very, very hungry cancer exactly. cells. Exactly. Very hungry, very weak, very, yes. uh, 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 let's say, uh, irritated cancer cells. Sure. So here is it and becomes that's the opportunity to then for the chemotherapy to penetrate and go inside and, and kill the cancer. And how much, uh, I mean, com compared to in your normal conventional treatment, how much chemotherapy is actually going in? It's it's always we start with 10% and then it, we go up to maximum 20-25%. So a lot less than exactly, conventional treatment. Exactly, much less of the conventional treatment. And I imagine then that means that there'd be a lot less side effects. Definitely. We don't have the major side effects of chemotherapy, conventional chemotherapy as loss of hair, as let's say dep uh, depressed immune system, uh, mouth ulcers and so on. So we don't have these. Of course it is a chemotherapy. It will have very minor side effects, but mm. the patient doesn't feel these side effects. Mm. We can sometimes see these side effects on the blood works, sometimes maybe elevated liver enzymes, mm -hmm. but it's not elevated to a point that it is dangerous, mm -hmm. all right? And what we do in Verita Life, we have a protocol for every chemo drug. So what we can do is, we or what we do usually, is that we give a chemo protection one day before and one day after in order okay. to help the bone marrow to produce more healthier cells. Mm. 
protect the healthy cells from the chemotherapy as well. So the side effects are even more less with us. I feel like IPT <coughs> is such a um, fantastic example of using you know, conventional treatment and, and alternative yes. treatment together. Definitely, yes. yes. And it is more, let's say, trying to get the best outcome of both treatments for the patients. Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.